Greetings, all you potato lovers. You want fries with that? <laughs> well, now you can have it. Uh, this is a new mod for Tuesday, August the 16th, and it's Potato Processing by Harrison Fork. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, 15.31 megabytes to download. This is a pack of four placeables, starting with... The potato processing plant. It's a factory. The best of the potato. Very cool. Uh, it's based on what I can see a great processing uh, factory. Um, the model, anyways. And uh, we'll find this under productions and uh, factories. And you'll notice it by the potato symbol on the top there. $80,000. You can place up to, I believe, 50... Oh, no. What was it? Yeah. I think there's like 60 of them if you want. I think that's the maximum amount of factories you can place, which includes greenhouses, um, anything under the productions. Uh, anyways, so, yes. So there is that. That is 15 slots for... And we'll go through each of them because they're quite quite involved um so the next two items in this package are two greenhouses a small and a medium a small and a medium one and those can be found under productions and greenhouses and again they can be clearly identified by the little symbol potato and potato production thingy and those are going to be seven and eight slots each as you can see five thousand dollars for the small one and ten thousand dollars for the large one and we will go through those as well now the next two items are going to be sell points not there but uh production and selling points and those as well you'll have the little potato symbol and the factory which is awesome i love having that it's easy to find or you know immediately what it is so kudos to mr harrison fork uh for that addition to it to it so first of all we have the supermarket which is 13 slots that is kind of a very unique um something that we haven't seen or that i haven't seen on console yet and we'll talk about that um uh, it's actually uh, what yeah what did it say 13 slots and uh, well it's a sell point in a way kind of a sell point factory combination and that's uh, very interesting we'll talk about that in a minute after we go through things uh, there's quite a length of uh, quite a list of things we have to go through uh, last but not least the farmer wholesale which is strictly a sell point straight up uh, only a dollar and one slot so it's uh based on the base game um farmer's market type sell point which we've uh farmer's market yeah right on so uh very very straightforward with that um we might as well cover this it's a sell point uh if we go into the um and to here it will be what would we sell farmers wholesale potato processing there you go so it pops up there um looks like the prices are pretty standard what else would it buy um what can you sell in there it doesn't spy everything there we go we got uh, seeds it will buy seeds at a ooh, quite a reduced price it looks like eggs uh pretty standard uh wool again kind of well not kind of that's around this around a pretty decent price uh milk um yeah pretty pretty standard there um oh wood chips yeah so you get the idea um it doesn't buy everything but it does buy well it will buy all of the products that you make or whatever so things like lettuce uh, tomatoes the strawberries everything that uh, the factory produces and there's a, a lengthy list of those items um, 
as well as although it's interesting it's some of the they sell everything so is paying a better price than the uh actual one the um that's kind of funny yeah anyways so there you go there's a sell point right okay so whew, um the simple one let's start with the simple one first the greenhouses now if we come over here uh greenhouses you will find under your factories and uh, we have the mid-sized greenhouse which will uh you can produce tomatoes lettuce strawberries cucumbers pepper and onions which are new as far as i know to console as well uh, it's not a crop but it is a greenhouse pro product that is used in the potato factory as well so this is where they're connected the only thing you need to put in is water so the recipes uh are sometimes well you can see sometimes it's two water equals one lettuce one to one or one to two like so um and the cycles per month uh vary as well uh what only the cost per month production is two dollars right so it doesn't tell me a maintenance cost on the um <clears throat> on the website now if we look at water was it uh oh ten thousand liters of water and twenty thousand i believe um maximum water we we'll, actually you know what let's show you that oh i got milk in here well um yeah so i won't show you that it'll take too long um so yeah the what it's just water you pull up here with a tanker and you fill the water in uh just basically it's based on a, a standard design of the greenhouse now i didn't make the standard stuff like the uh oh, sorry i didn't make any tomatoes lettuce or strawberries you've seen all those already the cucumbers peppers and onions are what i was interested in here's the onions very nice cucumbers and the the uh the animation i mean the design i mean they could have just made a box that said cucumbers on it but that looks actually like cucumbers and those are onions and here are the peppers they're uh, spicy red peppers uh nice um this one took for us to get this took three months they're not fast and this is all that was produced uh, we have some cucumbers in storage peppers not uh, what's the uh 700 liters is the cucumbers uh onions uh 700 so you looks like 700 liter containers you can't pick them up they're too heavy you'll need a forklift or an auto load uh we'll show you that um yeah so i didn't the the, the smaller the medium size greenhouse is kind of pretty puny um after three months it it hadn't even produced um peppers or onions yet so just be aware of that um yeah we'll show we'll show picking them up later <laughs> um i have some other stuff going on for testing out the other things so anyways those are the greenhouses uh let's uh, talk about the uh supermarket now this is interesting this we have not seen as i said yet on console that i'm aware of i'm pretty sure we haven't now that is actually um a factory of sorts now if we look over here i have placed in it uh where is it i have put some cereal in there so you see all these items vegetable fat premium these are all the most of these are stuff uh, or things that the potato factory has will produce can produce or will produce uh and there's all the other things like eggs milk raisins grape juice grapes tomatoes lettuce strawberries cake bread sugar so not all of this will be produced but it has that plus others and <clears throat> so this is uh, how do i explain it it's a sell point where you you deposit items like cereal but you don't get your money right away but 
so you have to wait um it's cycles per month so one uh 1440 cycles per month so it is like a production factory but it automatically sells your stuff but it takes time you don't get your money instantly kind of like the um uh, Kind of like the um, the old um, uh, bio uh, uh, the, the the old the bio place where you took your silage and your manure. <laughs> I can't think of the name now. Anyways, um, so if you notice, <clears throat> the recipe is for peppers. It's it's one point five three. Well, that's one point five three percent i believe of what the price is for tomatoes so you get extra money those are all per, per, as far as i can tell those are percentages <clears throat> over top of the uh regular price so let's go to the cereal uh where's this there's a cereal so uh to sell the cereal here you get 3.59 times the price that you would sell it regularly. That's how I understand it. Um, uh, it says, a placeable building that produces income every hour by selling products directly to the customers. So, right, the profit is about 30% higher than selling directly. However, the selling amount per day is limited, right? To, so limited, per, you can only put 4,000 liters. So is that 359? Let's go up here to cereal. So cereal, um, yeah, 11,000. So it's gonna be, it's, it can be really tough to really figure out exactly what's going on there. But nevertheless, uh, it says you're gonna get a better. Pr but anyways, uh, yeah. We, well, so we got some cereal in there. We're gonna we got four thousand liters of cereal, and we're gonna see how much we get for it. How about that? Um, right. So that's kind of how that works. It's a. Uh, it's kind of like a farmer's market where you put the stuff in there. You get more for it, but it takes time to sell. Right. It's not instantly sold. Right now to the big boy. Uh, the potato processing now let's see um yeah so let's have a look at the potato processing uh not there because that's <laughs> oh right there we go a lot's going on here so hope, thank you for being patient so we have um capacities sunflower oil these are all the incoming materials now some of these materials are what the factory produces and then so like potatoes can be produced into premium potatoes you need water and potatoes and you will get premium potatoes and starch so that's the only way you can get these because premium potatoes are part of a recipe that makes the outgoing products so you have vegetable fat which is reused or you can either sell it or reuse it to make other items so it's it's a, quite a complex factory um potato like all these potato au gratin fried potatoes mashed potatoes potato soup paprika chips potato pancakes and these are all recipes some of them have quite a number of items potato soup uh, you have potatoes, water, potato starch, tomatoes, peppers, and onions. So a lot of stuff going into something that only you only get three of. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine goes into three. Uh, the chips, um, same thing. Three potatoes. A uh, that is vegetable. What is that? Uh, vegetable fat. Yeah. So, yeah, vegetable fat you can make from several different things too. Uh, sunflower oil, uh, canola oil, or just straight up uh, soybeans you can make it. So you don't have to get oil. Um, yeah, uh, lots, of <laughs> lots of different products. Um, 
I could spend hours going through each one, which I won't. Uh, capacities, uh, you can see some are 10,000, canola, sunflower, soybeans, 60,000, potatoes, 200,000, water, 100,000. So we're going to see, um, there's cheese, milk, butter. Of course, these cheese, milk, and butter, you can either buy or if you have a dairy, you can produce that and have it sent there or take it there. Uh, tomatoes, pepper um, are the greenhouse pro products, eggs, flour. Uh, here we have some corn and then, of course, the cucumber. Well, mashed potatoes is part of another recipe, I do believe. Um, mashed potatoes. What is that used for? Mm, potato au gratin? No. It's interesting why mashed potatoes would be up there as a incoming product. Oh, for croquettes. Okay, there we go. That's why. Um, I think that's called croquettes. Don't know what they are, but it looks delicious. Um, right, so without wasting any more time, um, we're going to... Oh, let's... Um, okay, so we need to um, set those to produce uh, premium potatoes. We'll need that french fries... We have things for potato au gratin, um, fried potatoes with uh, oh, onions. Okay, we don't have any onions yet. All right, we're going to throw some onions in there. We can make mashed potatoes. Um, potato pancakes, I do believe we're going to have stuff for that. Um, anyways, I don't want to put them all, turn them all on, but uh, we'll get an idea of what what we're going to end up with and um meanwhile um you know what well let's uh let's go grab the uh, what um <clears throat> what the greenhouses has produced and to make things a little bit easier let's just set these to distributing um because that's the way you uh you get them sent over there the onions it's it's there's only one place that takes these uh, on any map right now so you can set those to distributing and we'll grab the rest of them um i do believe this auto load trailer we have here uh does so let's just check that right now we're going to empty this out and see if this auto load trailer this is the one by i do believe rally christie one vsr modding sir um will pick up those items oh, come on empty out there we go uh, let's get our help window on here there we go now we should be able to pick up, oh, oh, I got them all in a row here. Hope they don't delete each other. Uh, there we go, we have onions. Yes, onions, very good. So you can, I would suggest not having them, if you're gonna do pick them up, not having only having one kind out there because of the way the auto load works it uh, it's not friendly if there's a bunch of different ones there is this gonna unload in here oh hmm that's a problem Oh, well, oh, there we go. It is spit it out over there. Right. <laughs> um, so that one doesn't automatically unload. Maybe if we can shove it over there. 
<laughs> uh, we have one other one. Um, auto load trailer we can try real quick here. Thank you for being patient. And we're just going to go over by the cucumbers because that's just one here and see if this... Yes, so this one as well. I will... Uh, I'll post... Um, um, which which one of these... I will post the um, info for the two modded uh, autoload wagons here. Does this... Oh, see, now this one's automatically unloading. So there you go. Oh, no, it's... He's, he's picking up the onions. Oh, dear. So I lost my cucumbers. Uh, start overloading. Yes, so that one works. Uh, that is not... It was under trailers. I'll show you that one right now. That is part of a two-part pack. The auto-load pack. I can't remember who I, I like. I said I'll put this in the description which one this is. The lizard's big bag trailer from the auto load pack. <clears throat> so that one works for auto loading and unloading of the um, the extra the new the new products. All right, so uh, we're gonna cut away and we're gonna come back. All right, we're back. And so, uh, before I go any further, I must say about the uh, the supermarket. Um, there's some important information you need to know for this to be to work. Because I was wondering why it's not working. Um, so, when you put an item in there, it's a storage. So you put it into storage. Oh, we got cucumbers. Oh, it's going into here too. Uh, yes, so if you have the greenhouses set to distributing, uh, that, all that stuff's going to come in here too. So, if you want to sell these items, there's two things you need to do. Set the turnover to selling, and also activate the item you want to sell. Say, in this case, cereal, because the cereal wasn't selling. Why isn't it selling? Uh, you have to have it turn it on. And then it will do the uh, conversion, and then it will convert it to the cash, and then you can set the cash to selling or just. Oh, I wonder what it looks like in distributing. Will it? Will I get a bunch of coins? <laughs> vegetable oil, vegetable fat. Now, 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 I've raised another question, of course. So let's turn the vegetable fat and starch on. And what else do we got that's coming here? Uh, we got peppers and cucumbers. Peppers and cucumbers. And we're going to turn them all on. And we're going to store the turnover. The cash. Do we get, do we get buckets of cash popping up in the... Uh... Oh, there is no output. It only sells. Right forgot about that uh, input only and everything else sells so we just have to stead to sell right okay so now on to the uh, productions we have mashed potatoes we have the um, fat uh, vegetable fat and this is au gratin I believe and french fries and if we look at our productions go back up here and there we go so here we go incoming materials outgoing materials so we've got mashed potatoes getting in in there and it's um these are all the things we turned on that it, potato uh gratin yep so lots of stuff being made um uh the vegetable uh fat uh, gets a uh, Produce quite a lot we get from it. We've got some here. We picked up 2740 or 34 liters. So this picks it up from there, no problem. Also, uh, we should be able to deposit some of this in here, unless it's already full. 
I guess I have to highlight the trailer. Would be good. There we go. So we can put some vegetable fat in there. There it is. That's going to sell it for us. And we're going to try out the... Uh, um, this, 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 the other market there and sell that. There we go. Not too bad. Right. Um, so, uh, it looks like everything's working as it should now. <laughs> now. Um. And, oh, let's just show you the trigger. The trigger is actually pretty generous. I have milk in here, as you can see. Um, the factory takes milk, so we're just going to drive over there, and there it is, pops up like there, so that's pretty generous, I, I was backing in, and so forth, and not necessary, um, it didn't take much milk, it still has quite a bit of milk, it seems, yeah, 10,000 liters, so probably not the best thing to have a whole bunch of them turned on it's one of those things that uh, work best if you just have a few things being produced unless you're distributing them to say another production <clears throat> um, but a lot of this stuff that this one produces um, is kind of either sold or it reuses inside to, to yeah so it's it's quite a complex uh, mod for with basically three production facilities or two and a half maybe and a cell point so wow uh quite the um quite the collection there and i do believe that's uh uh this modder let me just check harrison fork uh yes this is his first mod on mod hub so congratulations mr harrison fork uh with your potato processing uh, 15.31 megabytes to download um, 15 slots for the uh, factory and the uh, super mart is 13 uh, the greenhouses are seven and eight slots these are slots and the uh, cell point is one slot only uh, questions comments um, suggestions things I may have missed uh, are all welcome in the comment section below. Please feel free to uh, to uh, make comments, suggestions, or <laughs> point out things that I missed, which is hmm, fairly frequent uh, when it comes to complex type um, things like this or questions. I will try to answer all questions. I'm Lily Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time. Bye for now.